Steve here from steveturton.com. Now I've had a few people ask me a couple of questions about links, affiliate links, and how to disguise them or mask them because they get themselves shut down depending on where they advertise those links. Uh, they're having a bit of a hard time uh, with uh, keeping them active. So um, I'm just going to show you a very quick um, tutorial on how you can do that. Uh, you need to have uh, a domain. So, for example, I use GoDaddy, which you can see on the screen. I've bought a domain. I've already done that. I've called it um, greatspeed.com. Why did I call it that? I have got no idea. It works, but trying to find a domain name or a URL that's not taken is very difficult. It took me about half an hour to find that one, uh, to come up with that one. Uh, so you need to do that, whether you get it through GoDaddy or if you get it through HostGator. Oh, there's plenty of people who provide uh, domain names. You need to get a domain. I'm going to click on this one here, which is uh, greatspeed.com. It's going to bring up their uh, d domain details. We're not interested in DNS zone files or contacts. We want this settings page. Now, regardless of whether you use GoDaddy or HostGator or whatever, this feature is available. What we're looking for are the forwarding feature, the forwarding ability here. And I don't have any because the domain's off because it's a brand new site. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use greatspeed.com as the mask, if you like, or the, the forwarding mask domain to hide my secret little affiliate link or my advertising page, if you like. Um, very cunning you might say well let's go and have a look at my lead pages um, ad now I use lead pages there's, there's a bunch of people or places where you can create your own lead pages and opt-ins and all that stuff uh, I just use lead pages TMA opt-in this is what I want to use this is what I want to disguise so if I click on this link here just to show you what's going on that link right there is the link to the ad I want to disguise. So I'm just going to select that link, copy that link address, and I'm going to go back into the GoDaddy um, domain details and go down to forwarding. I'm going to click on the manage because I want to manage the forwarding aspect of this domain. I'm not forwarding anything just yet, as I've mentioned before, it's brand new. So I want to add that particular address, which was here on lead pages and stick it into here. And I'll sort of detail this a bit more shortly. I'm going to add a forwarding. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to control C, uh, V, I'm sorry, which is I'm going to paste that link in I copied. I don't want to repeat the HTTP again, so I'm going to just delete HTTPS. I'm going to change the forward to HTTPS. So now I've basically uh, duplicated what it was back here on the lead pages URL. Clear as mud? Awesome. Now, forward only. What you need to do is forward with masking so when people are going to go to the site they're not going to see up in the address bar what's going on. It's going to be masked. So it's just another stealth move if you like. Nothing untoward but it just keeps things tidy. That's what I'm going to stick with anyway. Title, description, keywords. You can fill those in if you wish but uh, I'm not really too worried about it. In actual fact I will because it says, oh, look at this. My mistake, I've left the two forward slashes in there. Stupid me. Bingo, now it works. I'm going to save that. And it will tell me that uh, it's been submitted and will take a few moments to take effect. So what this is doing is when I type in my greatspeed.com, it's actually going to bring up the page or load the page which points to this ad. And what does that page look like? Oh, I suppose I can show you by going like this. And this is the page that will come up. And that's what we do it for. So 
it's all a piece of cake. And that's basically what we need to do to be able to mask or, if you like, disguise a domain that we want hidden so that it's not going to get us shut down. And you can do this numerous ways. This is just one of them. hope that's been of help for you. Reach out if you've got any questions or queries I can uh, help you with. And uh, we'll catch you on the next training. Cheers.